Okay, so for this image, I am going ahead and I'm opening up in Camera Raw again, just because um, the wood looks a little bit too yellow to me. Um, so if you do shoot with a gray card, you can kind of use that to white balance. But I'm just going to click on just a neutral area of the image until um, I think the wood looks a little bit more like white. Um, but a gray card would definitely help with this. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open the image. And um, the exposure on this is pretty good. I'm going to try... Um, Let's try a contrast boost, um, and that just gives it a little bit of, of pop there and kind of pops out the contrast a little bit. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to play um, Sparkle and Shine. This is a painting action for jewelry, so it's, um, I'm going to have my brush at around 20%. Uh, 17 um, and I'm gonna paint over with a white brush the 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 gemstones here to make them pop and then also the actual necklace itself you can see that makes um, the necklace pop a little bit more um, and then really that's kind of all I would do with this except for just finishing it up with um, crisp finish, which is just an overall sharpening action that's just going to crisp the edges of everything and just make them um, pop even a little bit more. So that's really all I would do to this. It doesn't really need a lot done to it because um, the exposure is good and the lighting's good. Um, and then, you know, you would just resize it and... Um, save it for Etsy or whatever. Um, so, and I think that's the same one you sent me to, I think, but they look, no, they are different. Okay, so which one is this that I'm editing? That's 574. Okay, I'll go ahead and let me download this one. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and open this in camera raw. Um, now with these images, you're shooting at F22. I really don't think you need to be shooting at F22. Um, if you look here, this is actually, um, I mean, it's, it's okay, but it's a little soft here. And I'm wondering even, um, I'm wondering if you're just getting just a tiny bit of like kind of camera shake. Um, cause it's not just, it's not as crisp as I think it should be. I really think you can bring your shutter down to like around F11. Um, it's okay if this, if the chain starts to blur out a little bit. Um, but I, if at F11, I think that your whole pendant should be in focus. Um, you, there's really no need to be shooting at F22 and that's going to bring up your, sh that's going to allow you to bring up your shutter. Um, so then you won't get any, um, motion blur. So again, with this, the, the white balance just looked a little bit off. Um, I really suggest shooting with a gray card. Um, I don't really know what color that wood's supposed to be, but it just didn't look right to me. So when I go ahead and open up the image, then really I'm going to do pretty much the same thing um, that I did on this one. Just give it a contrast boost and then the sparkle and shine and crisp finish. So um, let's go to... <laughs> I can't find my own actions. Okay. Here it is. Um, actually, I'm going to try crazy contrast on this one. Okay. I think I like that a little better as far as it brings out the black there, but um, I'm going to put it at around 50% opacity. Now I'm going to... No, 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 no. Pick that back up, please. Um, 
Now I'm going to go to Sparkle and Shine again. And we're going to do crisp finish. Um, and that's really all I would do to that one, too. So, I mean, really, I think using the crazy contrast on this is a little bit better. Um, you can see, instead of just the contrast boost, it really made this stand out a little bit more. So, um, hope that helps. I will go ahead and post this in the group.